Hey, what's going on, guys? Today I'm just doing like a, um, I don't know, best mic settings for OBS because somebody in the comments asked me to do a video on this, so I'm just making a video. And, um, I hope the recording isn't like gonna stutter or anything, but yeah, I'm just gonna tell you what to do and what not to do when you're setting up your mic, or at least for this mic, but you can do it with other mics too, and it should make them, it, it'll make them sound better. Um, so I guess I'll just go ahead and start let me just make my face cam smaller so I think that's enough room so I'm just gonna click on settings in OBS so first of all for audio you would want it um, like in the general you want it to be at sample rate 48 kilohertz because that just makes it sound better and you also have to have your mic um, at 48 kilohertz in sound settings which is pretty easy to do. Mine's already at it. And uh, yeah, like just properties, advanced. Yeah, right here. That's how you do it. It's at 48 kilohertz, uh, 48 kilohertz already. And yeah, that's how you do it if you don't have it like that already. And um, I just have this on one of these. If you know, already know how to work on OBS, you'll know how to do this but it uh, should be de default to this but yeah I just have it for this mic right here and um, yeah that's it uh, in my recording I have it the audio bitrate set at 320 kilobits per second and I only use my face cam to record I don't like record my screen with OBS when I'm making normal videos and stuff so um, yeah, I I don't know. Um, you just need to have this set to 320 kilobits per second, and uh, this other stuff really doesn't matter. I'll make a video on that sometime later because that's for video. Um, so on the mic right here, I can like turn it down and turn it up, and if it it can clip right there, so I like to keep it at about negative 10. And that seems to work pretty good. And I usually have my mic about right here because that gives me like the least amount of distortion and proximity effect. So like if I have it like this, it's like really close and really bassy, which sounds a little weird. I mean, it can get annoying after a while, but I like to keep it about right here. So properties is just my main mic. And then uh, filters is where all the good stuff happens. So right now I have a compressor and VS2 t VS2X plugin. That's just a plugin thing. Oops. Um, I think I might have unplugged my mic. I don't know. It's fine. Uh, the plugin that I have is called a Marvel GEQ. Open plugin interface. It just um, ba uh, boosts the low ends and the high ends and makes them sound better. And then um, presets. I have it on brighter and bassy. There's presence, so I'll activate that. That like makes um, the higher end, as you can see, higher. Uh, it like boosts the higher end frequencies. Side bass removal. This one's a little weird because the first time I tried it, it literally like just destroyed my audio. Pretty much, it, like just completely distorted it and everything but I mean just see how you like it how it sounds or whatever and if you want to put it on side bass removal mids boost this some some people think that this is for podcasts and the kind of stuff that I do but I don't necessarily really like mids boost all that much but lo-fi it sounds a little weird lo-fi takes the um, high ends and takes them down instead of pushes them up and it sounds a little weird, it sounds kind of tinny, so I don't really like that all that much, but I mean, whatever you like, you can do. But Ultra Bass Boost just makes the bass go up, doesn't do anything to the treble. And then if you do like some kind of modification yourself, like this, some kind of stupid crazy bass boost, this makes it sound weird, and like makes it sound almost, I mean, I can do like some kind I don't know how to do it but you can make your voice with this thing sound like it's on a radio station if you know what you're doing but I don't know what I'm doing I just go with a preset 
and go with it because I mean that's that's good enough for me uh, I don't need to save it um, so I have the VST plugin on so I'm gonna turn it off so this is how it sounds without the plugin uh, you can tell a difference if you really listen and if you have a decent pair of headphones you can very much tell a difference so on this is how it sounds with the VST 2x plugin on this is how it sounds with it off it sound it still sounds good but not as good as with it on so another time on this is how it sounds off this is how it sounds okay so I'm gonna keep it on and then do a compressor this is the compressor off compressor on so what a compressor does is um, so like if I'm talking And the louder things quieter that's what a compressor does so with that off this is how it sounds when I whisper this is how it sounds when I whisper it sound, doesn't sound right and this is how it sounds when I yell with the compressor off this is how it sounds when I yell with the compressor on this is how it sounds when I whisper with the compressor on see there's a big difference and if you don't have a compressor it's insane Compressors, I just leave it at the default because it works perfectly fine at the default. Um, there's other effects. So here's some things that you need to stay away from. Gain. Just go with the gain that your mic is feeding through and you'll be fine. Don't use gain because look. look so if I add 5 decibels, this sounds, you can hear a lot of stuff. And then if I add 10 it starts clipping like crazy and everything goes crazy and then I've had to throw you, uh, you your ears are broken so if you are to use gain if you want to make it a little bit louder the most that I would do is about two and a half decibels of gain because if you go and do some research or whatever um, you'll learn that decibels like just 10 decibels is a lot that's 10 times the amount of sound like say 10 decibels and then 20 20 decibels is 10 times louder than 10 decibels. 100 decibels is, um, I don't know, but yeah, it, sound stuff is really weird and it, it yeah. Um, so, noise gate. This is good if you have a lot of noise in your room, so. It's completely silent. I mean, it works pretty good. I should probably start using it, so like, I just leave it. This actually, I might actually need to start using this, I don't know why I quit using it, yeah, just for some reasons, I don't know why. Because I mean, it takes a while for the audio to completely shut down, but I mean it works really good, so like, yeah. Um, you should use a noise gate depending on, it's kind of a complicated one, like I have a computer running in the background all the time. So like you can hear it in the background with it off, so I'm just going to be really quiet. Well, I mean, somebody's walking, so I mean, you can hear that, but you can hear my computer. So I'm going to boost the audio up as loud as I can so that you can hear my computer running. Yeah, so you can hear that. So with the noise gate on... Now you won't be able to hear my computer running. It works pretty good. I think I'm going to use that for the rest of the video because there's a lot of noise going on. Noise suppression is garbage. This stuff trashes your audio. Like, I mean, you can't hear stuff as much as you used to, but, like, this completely distorts your audio. Like, if I'm clapping or whatever, and I'm talking at the same time, it just destroys your audio quality, so if I take it off, you can hear the clapping more, but your audio is just as good, and as long as there's not very much noise, just don't use a noise suppression, just use a noise gate, because noise suppression destroys your audio. If you really, really have to, use 15 decibels, because it does destroy your audio quality and make it sound way worse than what it normally would, but, I mean, if you have to, just play around with it and see what you like. Um, 15 decibels is the highest I would go. 
So noise suppression, I'm turning that off. Um, limiter, it's kind of like a noise gate, just a more com a weirder version. Yeah, it, it's weird. I don't know how to use a limiter. Um, expander, I don't know what this is. I'm I'm dumb. I don't. You don't really need this for um, just doing this stuff though. Yeah. I think it's kind of like a compressor, I think. A little different, though. So you really don't need to use that. Um, but yeah, I would just use compressor. Leave that at default. Download this Marvel GEQ plugin, which is right here. I'll leave a link. It's called uh, Voxengo uh, Marvel GEQ plugin. And um, just play around with the presets. See what you like. And then turn the noise gate on. If you want to, you can put the gain up a little bit um, noise suppression it's not really worth it um, noise gate I I think I actually kinda like that so yeah I think I think I've covered everything uh, this is just a blue stoneball mic fifty dollars I'll leave a link for this mic and this uh, mic boom arm you can just type in mic boom arm, arm on Amazon but I'll leave a link for this too and um yeah so i guess in the next video i'll just do uh, best settings for webcam recording and i am really impressed at how many views my webcam ver my webcam or my Logi logitech c920 versus c270 video that video has 47,000 views and i put it out in july that's actually kind of absurd that doesn't happen all the time. I can say that for sure. I don't know how that happened, but it just did. I mean, like in August, I was like, how does this video have 400 views? And it just kept on getting like 30, 40, 50 views a day. And now I'm getting 500 views a day on that. YouTube is like actually putting that video on their homepage because there's 400,000 impressions on that video. That means that 400,000 people have seen the thumbnail. That's kind of crazy. Um, and didn't click on it, so that's also another thing. That's like, that's still a 10% click-through rate, which isn't that bad. Um, but yeah, I think I'm done for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I hope this was helpful. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Um, ask any questions you want, I guess. Wow, my screen looks weird. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I have the game. Uh, I'm gonna cover one more thing. So I'm not I'm gonna go to Okay, let me I'm gonna go to audio settings, open sound settings, sound control panel. I'm just checking something. So recording, mic, properties, levels, it's at eighty eight percent right now. I don't know why, it just is. So if I lower it down to seventy five percent, which is where I like it the most. That's how it sounds at 75%. I don't know why it was at 88, but yeah. Um, I think this is enough for this video. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below of just ask me stuff, I guess. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.